Hello and welcome to this video about the automation and scripting capabilities of Hypermesh Desktop. First, we want to enable the scripting toolbar. Scripting toolbar is enabled via few browsers, no, not browsers, toolbars, Hyperworks scripting. Then you can see there is a bunch of buttons and the second button is the one who interests us now. There is this command open command file, which gives uh, file here and this file is the equivalent to the actions I take in hyper mesh desktop graphically so let me just put that to a side for example if I want to create a node realm notes and just put some random values in here I say create and go to this file and press f5 then I can see okay I have now this this command create node with six zeros if I want to look this command up, I have to go to help, Hyperworks help home, and then go to reference guide, hypermesh, and there just put the command in here, create node. And unfortunately, in this case, create node has not a command directly here, but TCL modify commands, and then I can just go to create node. And there you have it. So create node, creates attempt node using coordinate values. We have grenade node, then there's a X missing, Y set, system ID, surface ID, geom index. So I know what those values are. It's very important. And to run those commands, I can just um, put the commands into a file and run them with this file, a TCL file. And uh, that is done by clicking on the second um, button again and say open TCL TK script and then I could 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 run a TCL script but there's another option for quick testing you can just drag this line up and then you have a command shell and for example you can just say here create node one two three zero 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 and there you have a second node but TCL allows you to do more than that you can do if for loops, for each loops, etc. I have two examples uh, which I have put into a notepad. So for example, I say in the first command for set i zero, i less than 100 and incrementing i, create node i zero zero. So what this will do, it will create 100 nodes from zero 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 until 100 zero zero and by copying and pasting it here, you can see that this will work. And a second example is the same thing, but here I have a if uh, condition. So if uh, the f module of i with two is zero, so i divided by two leaves no rest, um, then create the node. And for being able to see that differently, I have to I have put it, it into y10 so if i run this command you can see that only every second node is getting created and you can do you can imagine how this could enable you to do automatically loads boundary conditions even mesh operations by just simply doing that graphically copying the and adapting the codes the, the commands from the command file and bring them into a bigger tcl script so I hope you enjoyed that video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up here and uh, give me a subscribe. And I hope to see you back soon. Thanks for watching.